Hey guys, Fugi here, and today I wanted to show you something on how to transport villagers and really any entity in Minecraft, an infinite number of blocks, um, up any slope, any mountain, through anywhere. Uh, the only thing you need to make sure you have for this is some rail, a minecart, a boat, and something for the minecart to fall off at the end. Not necessarily a giant cliff leading into a lava pool. You can if you want. But it needs to come off some kind of lip so it doesn't come, like the, otherwise the micro will hit the wall and come all the way back. And I assume you don't want that. So I'm going to show you how to do this real quick. Uh, what you want to do is you want to get your villager in the minecart. And make sure the villager is center on the, on the rails here. Uh, let's move him back an inch. This is kind of, this is pretty exact. So it's got to be one more inch, one more inch, one more inch, one more inch. There we go. That looks pretty good. Um, so yeah, make sure the entity you want to pick up is center on the track in the boat. In the boat is very important. And then you want to push the my cart into them. The my cart picks it up. Go up any kind of slope. They'll go up, you know, top speed forever and ever until they fall off a cliff. And go wherever you need them to be. Which is amazing. And now I know the next thing you're wondering is, well, boats can hold two entities. Can you transport two entities? The answer is yes, and that's actually how I got my cows uh, in there, which is pretty nice. So what you want to <coughs> excuse me, what you want to do is line it up so that the front entity will be in the middle of the minecart right here. Then you want to spawn in your villager. I'm going to set the time to zero, and then you want to get your other villager, push him in there as well. And now you've got two villagers. Uh, the front one might not be centered actually. Hold on one second. All right, I'm back. That was a massive cough. Uh, so the front one might not be centered enough. We'll try it out. Oh, it is cool. So yeah, and then you get two entities in here and it does the same thing. You just have to make sure one of the entities is centered on the track. And apparently it skews to one side when you have two of them in there. So that's for another date. But yeah, as you can see, even on the ground where there's no rail, the minecart is still trying to move just because it's got the boat and there's a lot of enemy collision happening. But yeah, so I I tried looking for this everywhere. I accidentally discovered this when I was trying to make my village breeder for my single player world. I googled it and I've seen hermit crafters use powered rails and push it all the way, but uh, turns out you don't need to. So yeah, I hope this helps you guys out. Hopes you know now you can get villagers from way further without having to worry about pushing them. Now you do two for one minecart. Now I'm, I'm saving you time and resources. So, uh, yeah. See you guys later.